Hello and welcome, this is Edrild and I'm gonna show you how you can make your own custom mod pack in Minecraft. First of all you're gonna need to download a tool called MultiMC. You're gonna wanna um, Google for it and make sure you click on the fork.net link and click on the blue button. Choose your platform and then just go uh, through the AdFly link and once you download, you're gonna have this zip file here, multi-nc.zip. Just extract it and grab the application from inside. The process should be similar in um, all the other platforms. And once we launch it, we're gonna see its interface. This is what it looks like. Now, the first thing you wanna do probably is go to preferences, which is this button right here, and. Um, you want to go to Java, say how much memory you want to allocate, uh, if you want to put some extra Java arguments, you can go to the Minecraft tab and say whether you want to start uh, Minecraft maximized and whether you want to uh, for it to log in automatically when you launch an instance. And I, I always uh, tick both of those. Uh, console tab controls um, what the console looks like and you know settings related to the console. Um, and, yeah, and more settings you can explore. Now, to get started with a custom instance, um, you want to click on the top left button, add a new instance, and then just click on the add a new instance um, menu selection, and it's going to start loading the version list, which means it's going to show you all the versions you have available. And you can click on change version and choose the one you want to use, in my case 1.5.2. I'm going to give it a name, um, building a custom mod pack or just custom mod pack and you can also click on the image and choose an icon if you want alright now we've got an instance but this is just a by default if we right click it the first time we're um, you know we right click it we're gonna have to put our username uh, the, set, the second time, if we change the preferences, we won't have to. But if we didn't change them, then every time um, every time we launch the instance, it's, go it's gonna try to uh, it's gonna ask us for our um, credentials. So when when I launch it, which you can do with double clicking, uh, it's gonna start downloading all the Minecraft files, and it's gonna show you the console on the back that I can always see, and then the instance instance itself, which is a vanilla 1.5.2. But now we want to add some mods. Now, uh, mods that you require or that I highly recommend to uh, create your own custom instance are Not Enough Items and Code Chicken Core. And let's see where we can find them. If we search in Google for Not Enough Items and click on the Minecraft Forum link, this is where you're going to find both Not Enough Items and Code Chicken Core. So go chicken core, you uh, go to the spoiler and just download your version. And make sure you read the ins installation instructions. This goes in the core mods folder, that's important. And then not enough items is about the same, just go to the spoiler, go to install, install instructions and downloads. It says place the chi go chicken core into the core mods folder and just download it. And I've already gone ahead and do that and done that. And I have them here. Now, when you right-click on your uh, custom instance, you can. Um, what you want to do is say "Edit Mods," and the Core Mods folder is where it said that these guys went. So I'm going to add them here. Just click on Add. Uh, you can select them, however you do it in your platform. In my case, I'm just going to do it like that, and click on Open. And now they're added. Now, if you um, if you paid attention, it says here. Uh, and the not enough item spoiler that you actually need Forge, and Forge is a fantastic um, tool that, I in layman terms, it's the glue that holds all the mods together, and you're gonna need it. But uh, MultiMC adds a method to uh, get it automatically. If you go to the Minecraft.jar, you can click on uh, you can click on MC Forge, and choose the version that is compatible with uh, your mods. And some mods are going to have a um, version requirement 
the last number on the right they're gonna say they require a version that's uh, for example 700 or higher so you wanna make sure you get the one that you know the the mods require and I'm gonna get 700 because I know that's the minimum for uh, one of the mods I'm gonna install to work so just click on OK and it's gonna start downloading it and Minecraft Forge is now installed and uh, so are codes you can core and not enough items and those are the minimum minimum things you're gonna need now you can also add texture packs and mods that's what we want so I've got a mods folder here that has a bunch of mods for 1.5.2 that I downloaded and they're probably gonna conflict so let's see how to solve that just gonna click on add here uh, select them all and add them it's gonna actually make a copy inside of the multi MC uh, file and uh, so you'll have two copies the copies that you uh, selected and then the one inside the um, you know the one that multi MC makes alright so let's see if I can launch all of these without any IDs conflicting so I'm gonna wanna take uh, a look at the console and Forge is gonna start doing some stuff of, of its own FML stands for Forge Mode Loader it's, it's just gonna get some files it needs alright it's launching but I wanna still look at the console our first error the mods and versions listed below could not be found power crystal score alright so we can close the instance and Google Power Crystal Score and try to find a Minecraft forum link alright um, and I didn't even write it properly there you go minecraftforum.net power crystals mod seems like the suitable um, mod to there you go, Power Crystals Core download. This is a core mod, goes in core mods, and requires Forge built against 652. I think that's gonna work. So I'll just download the one for my version and then add it to my core mods folder. Uh, Power Crystals Core and that should uh, not it should not ask me again about it now let's see what happens uh, Forge is not gonna have to download uh, the things it did the first time uh, it just downloads them one and then it can use them you know every time okay at this point when it says GL error you usually wanna check on your instance and we're also missing COFH core so we do exactly the same thing as we did before COFH core Google try to get a Minecraft forum link and get uh, download the thing that you're missing downloads COFH core latest version for Minecraft 1.5.2 and it's a core mod and requires 688 of Forge perfect that should work just get it and I think I've already downloaded it so I'm gonna go ahead and add it alright now what I'm gonna do is pretend that I have an ID conflict first I'm gonna take most of the mods out because uh, it, that's just gonna add um, loading time I'm gonna leave those two mods and then I wanna uh, to, to change the configuration I can click on uh, I can right click on here on the instance say view folder and navigate and navigate it and go to config and there's only advanced solar panels and advanced repulsion systems so I can delete everything else and let's see uh, block beam is uh, 627 so I'm gonna try to use that ID here as well six hundred and twenty seven 
All right, let's see what happens. If we take a look at the console, um, apparently I deleted a mod that uh, was required, in fact, two Imnibis Core and IC2. So let's put those back. Alright, so let's see how to deal with item and or block ID conflicts. Um, for that, I'm gonna remove all mods except uh, for two, which I'm gonna force to conflict. So I'm gonna leave advanced repulsion systems and advanced solar panels and their dependencies, which are industrial craft and MNIVIS core, and remove everything else. And uh, by default they shouldn't have any dependencies. Uh, to see their configuration files you want to right click on the instance, say view folder, and then you can navigate to Minecraft and config. And then you can change your configuration files there. So Advanced Repulsion Systems is using 627 for its beam block, and Advanced Solar Panels is using 194 for its blocks. So let's put them at the same ID and let's see what happens. If we keep an eye on the console we are gonna see an error soon. That's gonna tell us that uh, a mod found an error and it's gonna tell us what mod conflicted with, uh, with, with what other mod. So there you have it. Java Lang illegal argument exception slot 6 to 7 already occupied by mods Imnibis ARS which is advanced repulsion systems the block beams etc so basically uh, we're adding advanced solar block advanced solar panel which uh, is from advanced solar panels and if we scroll up uh, we can see exactly the name of the uh, of the other mod advanced solar panel so basically they're conflicting in slot 6 to 7. So how do you solve this? So you would like you would normally change the ID of one of them so they, they don't they do not use the same. But how do you know which IDs are um, free? Well one way would be to check the configuration files, but that would be slow and ineffective. Another way would be to remove one of the conflicting uh, mods launch the instance and then go into a game and that's what you're gonna use uh, not enough items for we're gonna see what you use it which is for uh, checking what blocks uh, IDs and what item IDs are free so let's see uh, it should launch normally now and we're just gonna create a new world Not sure why there's a world already there, but okay. Alright, now if we go into our inventories, we got this interface. You want to go to options on the bottom left. If this interface doesn't appear, just press O and it should hide it and show it. Just go to options on the bottom left, go to block item ID settings and uh, you want to change this so it says dump uh, block IDs, dump unused block IDs and here dump item IDs, dump unused item IDs and then you say dump ID map now and it's going to create a file in the Minecraft directory of this instance which has information on which block IDs and item IDs are available so let's close Minecraft um, go to that file which is in the Minecraft folder and it's called ID map blah 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 blah. So you open it and you see what uh, block IDs are being used here. It's gonna tell you, and then it's gonna tell you the unused ones. So we know 159 is not being used. So we can go and add again advanced repulsion systems and then go to the config. and say use a hundred and uh, what was it again? 159 
So let's try that. Save it. Launch the instance. And if everything went alright, it shouldn't cause any conflicts anymore. Let's see what happens. Seems like it's working alright. Just loading everything. And Minecraft should launch any second now. And there you go. So this is how you build your custom mod pack. You just basically add mods and solve dependencies and uh, item and block IDs by using any ID to see what um, IDs are free. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you next time.